Hello everyone, this is Nicole and I am part of the Hex team. Today I'm going to be walking you through a demo of our awesome product. This is a beta product and you can learn more about it by visiting myhex.io like you see right here. Here you can find more information about working with Adara Hashgraph, about our amazing team and the heads behind the awesome product you're about to see. You can also follow us and contact us as well. Now let's get to the nitty gritty, talking about the Chrome extension itself. And you can think about this as a MetaMask, but instead of being run on Ethereum, this is run on Hedera Hashgraph. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to github.com forward slash hashgraph x forward slash Chrome, right there. That's going to take you to our repository. So you're going to click here in Hashgraph Exchange and you're going to download it. I downloaded this before the recording, so it's already in my download folder. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna go to manage extensions right here and make sure the developer mode is on. What we're gonna do is we're going to load um, here. We're going to load the extension. We're going to click select and our extension is here. Now, if we click here, we see that it's already active. Now, this is the first page that you're going to see. It's a beautiful design, right? So you can sign in by using the private account that was given to you when you became a Hedera customer. But if not, you can also create a new wallet. So let's do that. This is going to generate a user ID unique to you. And we just have to create a password. I'm creating a password right now. This is all run on the testnet because it's this is a better product. And um, as we move forward, we're going to run on the main net. So as you see, the wallet we created has an account ID, a private key, and the mnemonic right here. So we're gonna copy all of this information. This is really important. And count three, beautiful. Okay, we're gonna go to the dashboard. And if you create this, you in this case for, for testing purposes, we're gonna start with 10 H bars. And the buy and swaps functions are two functions that we are currently developing. Um, but are not active yet. What we do have enabled is the send option. But in order to do that, I want you to show, I want to show you how we can create tokens. And this is really something revolutionary. Think about the idea of being able to tokenize your business, your restaurant, or even your future earning potential. And um, I'm going to show you how to do it today. The awesome thing is that it's it's really fast. It it's virtual. It doesn't cost you any money. So we're gonna call this test token. The symbol is going to be X Y Z. The decimal, let's say five. Initial supply of a thousand. We're going to disable this right here. Create. Now, isn't this really nice and beautiful? Okay. Our token was created successfully, and I'm also going to write that down. Perfect. Now we see that this is one of the assets we have. And if we want to send um, tokens, we can actually select an account where we want to transfer it to. So that's why I had all of these numbers copied down. And let's say I want to send 10. So I'm going to see an error and that's because the other account is not associated with this yet. Um, but once you associate the account, the other account by adding that token, this should not happen. So that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and we hope you like it.